Finally we will edit individual drums and their relationships. In this list you see all of the drums in current drum set. If you select one of them, the entire screen changes and you can edit parameters of that drum. If you select multiple drums using Shift or Control keyboard shortcuts, you can edit parameters of multiple drums. There is no need to explain all of the parameters since you can always use the question mark button or F1 key to get detailed information about any item. So let's just move through it quickly and focus on the less obvious ones. Drum type is the primary attribute of each drum. Besides name and icon drum type defines defaults for most of the parameters like panorama and MIDI key association and ensures that all drum sets will be perfectly compatible. There are two volumes, volume and output volume. The volume is applied immediately after the sound is generated by a sampler or synthesizer, before the effect pipeline, and the output volume is applied afterwards. Since many effects depend on intensity of incoming signal, the volume can actually change the sound character. Therefore you should always use output volume for mixing. In most cases velocity affects volume of each note. In M drummer this can be controlled using volume by velocity parameter. But pitch can be changed by velocity too. Realisticity makes M drummer very pitch and other parameters to avoid chain gun effect even if no alternating hits are used. Only one instant setting is our version of limited polyphony. When it is enabled, every note associated to the drum will cause already playing notes to fade out. Fade out length defines time required for these notes to fully fade out. This is mostly useful for long sounds like cymbals. For example listen to this ride cymbal stacking up each other. Now with only one instance enabled, each drum can also cause other drums to fade out, we call this drum closing. The most typical example is a hi-hat. There are three types of hi-hats, open, closed, and pedal. When you hit open hi-hat, it sounds for a long time and you can end it anytime using closed or pedal hi-hat. This simulates the drummer actually closing the physical hi-hat hardware. In M Drummer you do that like this. Select closed hi-hat, and enable the checkbox next to open hi-hat. And do the same with the pedal hi-hat. Now it sounds like this. This way you can close any drum by any other, now let's see how M Drummer actually generates sound of a drum. Each drum has a set of velocity layers. The number of layers is not limited. Each layer has some basic parameters like volume or panorama, and also an interval of velocities for which it is available. Finally each layer has a sound source, which can be any sampler or synthesizer. Layers can be duplicated, saved, loaded, copied to clipboard and pasted back and so on. Layer mode defines how multiple layers are handled. When a note with particular velocity is received, M Drummer can play only the first available layer, random one from the available layers, or all available layers. This way M Drummer is capable of classical velocity multi-layering, 
altering hits, or even merging multiple layers. After the drum sound is generated from layers, it is processed through the effect pipeline. Again, number of effect for each drum is not limited. There are plenty of them, from dynamic processors, through distortions, to automatic panner and tremolo. There are no limits in M Drummer's sound system. You have no chance to find anything comparable in the entire world.